Hi everyone, Aunt Jody. Having a nice day here on the campus. You might be able to hear the church bells. I have a letter here. Um, and this is about a wedding that's coming up. Actually two. We'll get right to it, shall we? Dear Aunt Jody, I recently became engaged to the love of my life and I couldn't be happier. Mazel tov. He's my best friend and I can't wait to marry him. However, there was an issue that has arisen lately with my future mother-in-law, Brunhilde. Brunhilde's boyfriend proposed about a month after my fiance did. We were so thrilled for them, but lately Brunhilde has been making some wedding suggestions that I'm not comfortable with. She has been saying that she thinks it would be so fun to have a joint wedding. She has even gone as far as discussing color and flower choices. Now, I'm by no means a bridezilla, but I do want this day to be about me and my future husband. How do I tell my monster-in-law that I'm not interested in sharing this big day with her in that capacity? After all, I am marrying into this family and I don't want to upset her too much. Signed, Marrying Into Misery. Oh, honey, I feel your pain. There's only one thing worse than a bridezilla, and that's a momzilla. And if there's anything worse than that, it's a monster-in-lawzilla. I've seen all of those. I've seen grandmazillas. For a while, Aunt Jody did wedding photography. It started out as a fun hobby. <clears throat> it lasted like 20 years. I only did it for fun and whenever I made any money I bought more cameras which kind of defeated the purpose but oh the stories maybe on this channel Aunt Jody will tell some. Anyway my suggestion if you're not comfortable saying something directly or having your fiance say something directly start talking about really hideous colors you know like glow in the dark neon orange or 70s like avocado green and antique gold and like shag carpet colors like my mom still has in her living room um my uncle called it pizza carpet because you could drop a pizza on it and you'd never see it um start picking like really hideous things and then suggest that you're going to like have one of the dogs be in the wedding or even you're going to have clowns and make her so horrified that she doesn't want any part of this. Um, or you could just simply smile and nod and say, hmm, we'll think about that, but never really give her an answer. Um, she'll probably be relieved when you just go off on your own and make your own choices. You know, there is a thing that I like to call wedding psychosis. Something happens to normally sensible people, like Aunt Patty. Aunt Patty was one of the most sensible people in the world, but when it came time to her wedding, she did really wacky things, like ordered this tiny little cake for 500 people. And guess who got to cut the cake? Yes, she asked Aunt Jody. Uh, also, she had a 16-month-old flower girl. I'm like, Aunt Patty, are you sure? And she's like, oh, she can walk really well. You can imagine what happened when they put that baby down at the end of the aisle. Yeah. You could hear the screams for, you know, for a mile. So anyway, um, you just give her a blank stare or say, hmm, we're in Hilda. I'll think about that and do that. If you stonewall her, nothing bad will happen. Anyway, congratulations. Many blessings on your marriage. It sounds like you have a wonderful guy. Just um, play it cool. And it's just nothing worth shouting over. The most important thing is that you're marrying them. The man of your dreams, your best friend, that's what's to focus on, not colors. Okay? Have a good day, everybody. Take care.